Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Solo from Alpha Born and here's where we're at today. But before we get started, a massive, massive thank you to all of you. We finally made it to the 1000 subs. Now let's crack on with the video. And today we're actually going to be exploring the Hard Swamp Cave on the island, also known as the Redwoods Cave. Now I'm going to make a small series on individual caves and show you guys how to make hard caves easy. Now as you can already tell, I'm already wearing scuba gear, I've got a scuba mask on and a scuba tank. Then you're actually going to need the ghillie gauntlets, the ghillie trousers or pants if you're from the US. But then you also need scuba flippers because the swamp cave actually has its own radiation inside. And these are the only type of items that will actually get you in. I also recommend having some beds or sleeping bags down. And then last but not least, you actually are going to use a pack of dire wolves. So this series particularly is going to be more aimed at early game people. So not necessarily the alphas, but early game people that either want to get good XP or they just want to go and get the artifacts. The reason I choose dire wolves, they're very easy to trap, they're very easy to tame, and they're very easy to breed. And they don't require anything for saddles. So a nice early game dino. They also get a pack bonus, as you can see. Now, I'm on one, and I have the other four following. And the other four are all on attacking target. So as soon as I take any type of damage, as you can see, the entire pack gets in there and it's on them. So again, as you can see, the pack here is actually doing a lot of the work for me. Okay? Now this cave does have armor claws, so I do recommend having two or three sets of the armor you need. But ultimately, the goal here is to make sure the pack does all the work, if not at least most of the work. Now here at the end of the first tunnel, you can actually go left or you can go right. Personally, I actually always go to the right first, because usually there is a drop down there at some point. I will pre-warn you guys, I actually recorded this just as we were doing the Halloween event. Um, and as some of you may already know, when the Halloween event came out, there was a few issues with getting onto servers. Obelisks have been missing, drops have been missing, artifacts have been missing. So I didn't really want to hold off making this video and starting my series. But I'm sort of just making this with the... With best hopes in mind really. So as you can see we're coming through again. There's an alpha. Now as you can see on my screen there's a lot of things being killed here which means we're getting a lot of XP. And just down there in the water is where the drop's supposed to be but apparently there's not one there. Don't worry if you get covered in leeches. As you can see you just go up to your wolf or your dino, hold down Y and what are you doing there? Whatever makes you happy. Um, now usually by the time you get to say your last dino and remove the leech again, yours that's on you will normally get come up as well. Um, some of you may be saying why not use a frog? So frogs early game of course will knock you out quite easily. And they require a saddle and they require a lot of leveling. Alright mate, that's enough happy time. Come on, let's go. So yes, coming into this cave with a frog when you have a frog spare or when you have one leveled up, yes, this, this is amazing for getting CP. But right now it's more just let's get the artifact or let's just get some XP. So back from the original tunnel, we're now going to the left side of it. Now again, I'm not too sure why these flies aren't attacking. They really should be. Um, if I was in any type of admin mode, then nothing would attack me. But what you'll notice is that snakes are attacking me, after claws are attacking me, even the leeches are attacking me. So flies are just being lazy and lying down on the job, I guess. As you 
saw that I made a bit of a stupid mistake. I went into the water because I thought I saw an upper flora. Now I have another leech on me. See, as soon as they get attacked, the boots will actually give them sounds to pack boost. Now there's usually a drop here as well, or just around the corner from here, so again that's another drop that's not there. And all the drops in this cave, they generally vary between a blue cave drop, yellow cave drop, and then a red cave drop. actually have two different pathways going up, one on the left, one on the right. The one on the right is actually where the artifact is, so the one on the left, there's nothing up there, but it is easy XP. There's a lot of wild dinos in there, nothing major, mostly flies, um, but if you are looking for XP, definitely go left or walk up this way. So as you can see, there's enough to even fill up my screen. one here and I'm just going to really help out. So right there you can see now the other pathway. Now unfortunately I did actually go up there on foot because it's a dead end so there's no point taking the whole pack up there and there's no dinos up there. But the artifact wasn't there. So the only thing I can do now is just take my pack out basically and um, just make sure we get out safely. Okay guys, so here's the artifact that I was supposed to be collecting. You know, you've got to love some of these updates really, haven't we? Yeah. Um, so this particular cave, as you just saw, it's not the biggest of challenges. And I do hope you believe that this is a nice easier way of doing it. The next episode we're going to do is actually the hard ice cave. I'm going to show you guys a nice simple way to get through there. And if you haven't already guys, please sub. We're finally at the 1000 mark and I want to keep going up. See you next time.